My name is Phil White and welcome to Broughton Church's uh, Daily. Uh, each week we're going to be uh, broadcasting a short uh, thought for the day at 12 o'clock. Uh, my name is Phil White, as I said, I'm the vicar of Broughton Church and it's great to uh, have you joining us this afternoon. This week uh, is often called Holy Week in the church and uh, it's the week that leads up to Good Friday and Easter Sunday. And as I said, during uh, each day this week, we will be uh, speaking to you briefly uh, on a theme around Holy Week. I'd just like to read to you, first of all, uh, from John chapter 13. This is verse 31 through to 38. Judas has just left the disciples, gone to betray Jesus, and so we take up the story. When he was gone, that's Jesus, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, in, in him God will glorify the Son in himself, and will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me. And just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now, where I am going, you cannot come. A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. Simon Peter asked him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus replied, where I am going, you cannot follow now but you will follow later. Peter asked, Lord, why can't I follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Then Jesus answered, will you really lay down your life for me? I tell you the truth, before the cock crows, you will disown me three times. I love the character of Peter, the disciple. He is uh, very bold in what he says, and there he is. He says, I'm going to lay my life down for you, Jesus. And yet we, uh, we know, if we know the story, that on Good Friday, Friday of this week, we remember that Peter disowns Jesus three times. He denies he's ever met him, denies he knows him. And I'm just, just wondering about, the, as a parallel here, in, in this crisis... Uh, we're in at the moment. Um, I, like many of you, will have fears about my family and friends. All those people I know, I'll be fearful about. And to be honest, I'm also fearful for my own safety and my own life. And yet in that passage, Jesus simply calls us to love each other. I wonder whether we've just got a bit sidetracked by what's happening at the moment. And I'm taken back to the beginning of March where we had a church weekend away and a man called Mark Aldridge came and spoke for us. And um, we'd also been listening and following a course he'd put together uh, in, called Learning to Hear God's Voice. He was talking to us and encouraging us about how we can be salt and light in our community. And yet, if I think that's only a month ago, and yet in recent weeks, we've, I wonder, become very sidetracked, understandably. But now we're, we're concentrating on safety. We're concentrating on that two metre distancing. We're talking about social distancing and isolation. We have fears over our own health and the health of our family and friends. And as we're walking down the street, we're questioning, is she, is she clean? Is she safe? Or is, is he a carrier? Is he carrying the virus? And daily we're hearing the news reports about the death toll. Frightening things we're hearing. And I wonder whether in this last couple of weeks we've forgotten what we're here for. And I'm reminded as I think back to that weekend and that course we listened to, I'm reminded to listen for what God wants to use me for today. Who, do, who does he want to speak to me about? And maybe this sort of prayer, a simple prayer, I'm going to try and remember each day. Come Holy Spirit, show me how I can be salt and light today to those that I meet. Maybe over the garden fence or people I walk past in the street. 
Can I just read to you those two verses from uh, John chapter 13, verse 34 and 35. Jesus said this, A new command I give you, love one another. As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples, if you love one another. I'm going to try and focus on what God wants me to do today rather than getting all caught up with worries over my own life, just as Peter was. So simply my prayer is, come Holy Spirit, show me how I can be salt and light to the people I meet today. How can I be, how can I love? I hope you have a great day and please do join us here at Facebook again tomorrow at 12 o'clock.